Frost Dragons. Uh, I always thought Frost Dragons would be like a really easy boss, and honestly, they are. Frost Dragons are possibly the easiest boss on Ikov, to be honest. And they do give a quite a good bit of profit if you are looking into making some quick and easy on hand cash. Uh, if you sell your bones for about 900k each, you're looking at close to 25 mil per inventory. If you get a full inventory, that is. Uh, the normal gear I would take is just ranged gear, probably void, but uh, I died so I lost my void. Um, and I, was, I, I just didn't buy it back, so that, that's why I wasn't wearing void in most of these clips. Uh, I also took my chaotic crossbow. Uh, that's kind of a necessary... And you don't bring, you don't need to bring food if you have soul split, because you'll be hitting it hard enough with your chaotic and all of your range gear that there won't be any need for food or anything like that. So honestly, you can probably br just bring uh, a super restore potion or a flask, and just drink from that, and that'll just restore your prayer over and over again. You might be able to use prayer prayer renewals if you want to, but. Uh, through most of these clips I didn't, I just used prayer or super stores. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on to the part where I show you all the loot and everything that I made. Alright, so at the end of 100 dra frost dragon kills, you can see the 100 frost dragon bones. I'll go and pull this out of the bank. I was able to get one visage, visage, and I also got one loop half. So not bad loot. Um, one frost dragon bone. I sold my frost dragon bones for 725k each. So I'll probably show the math up on screen. Um, I only used about maybe I don't know maybe like four or five super store flasks, and that's pretty much all the flasks I used. Didn't take any overloads. You don't really need them when you're killing frost dragons. Uh, as for other things, I was picking up charms, got 18 gold charms, 42 green charms, 11 crimson charms, and 3 blue charms. And then I also picked up herbs, however I only picked up uh, overload herbs, herbs that are used to make overloads. So you know, lance dimes, uh, avantos, and dwarf weeds. So, I'm not going to be selling these herbs, and you can't sell charms, so all of the money based on Frost Dragons is going to be in the Bones, the Visage, and the Half of the Key. So let me go ahead and bank these herbs, and all of the charms. Okay, so we're here at the markets, player owned shops. And just to show you the regular price for things, the lowest price for a loop, loop half of a key is 700 and 7,950k or 7.95 mil. And the Draconic Visage goes for about 9 mil. And these Frost Dragon Bones, they go for about 930k. So I'm going to be selling these for a little bit more, a little bit of a higher price. So let's go ahead and open my store. And we'll sell 100 frost bones for 900k each. So that's going to be quite a lot. We'll sell this draconic visage for 700. So that's about 7.5 mil. And we will sell this loop half for 7 mil. And I'll come back when that is all sold. Actually, one thing I need to do is withdraw all of my money so that. You can see all the money that I've made in total. I'll go ahead and bank all of that. It's not a lot, but now we wait and see how much money we will get. Alright, so I'm training a little bit of herb lore, and I think I just sold the Visage. Visage, whatever. So, yep, haven't sold any bones or the loop. I actually expected the bones to sell first, all of my bones to be sold out, but no, nope, I sold the Visage first. So, we'll just keep waiting. Okay, that happened just about a second after I paused the recording. I just got 90 mil from all of my bones. So, last thing that's left is this loop half, which is in there for 7 mil, so I'll make about 104 mil in total from 100 frost dragons. 
So Frost Dragons, they are a very easy boss to kill. They really shouldn't even be considered bosses. So would I recommend you kill them for money? If you're a new player, absolutely. If you're a seasoned P PVM player, you know, there's always going to be bosses that are better than uh, Frost Dragons. You know, there's like, you got God Wars Dungeon, you know, the hilt goes for a lot more than just a couple bones. So there's always going to be bosses that'll be better. But if you're just trying to make some quick cash, Frost Dragons are definitely good for you. Selling them for 900k each bone, that is a lot of profit. That's nearly a mil per bone, which means you're making one mil almost per Frost Dragon, which is pretty great. So yeah, that pretty much concludes this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.